There's not too many things more frustrating than a trackpad that's not working in your laptop. If you're ready to replace that bum trackpad with one that does work, you've come to the right place. Cause today I'm gonna show you how to replace the trackpad in your 2015 MacBook. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit and for this repair you're going to need a battery isolation pick, P5 pentalobe screwdriver, spudger, T5 torque screwdriver, Tripoint Y00 screwdriver, and tweezers. I have all the tools I need and I also have my magnetic mat. It's not listed as one of the required tools, but I never do a repair without it. It helps me stay organized and keeps me from losing any important parts. Today, I'm working on an early 2015 version of the Retina MacBook. While some of the steps are very similar to other versions of the MacBooks, always follow the step-by-step -step guide for your specific machine. Not only does the guide walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it to help you when you do your repair. You can find all our guides at ifixit.com. Let's get started. First things first, make sure your computer is completely turned off and disconnected from any power source. Then flip your MacBook over and tackle the back panel. To do that, we're going to unscrew the pentalobe screws holding it in place. There are eight screws total, but keep in mind there are three different sizes, so make note of that on your magnetic mat when you take them out. Now you can pull up on the lower case with your fingers, but only about a 45 degree angle because it's still attached by that tricky trackpad ribbon cable. In order to detach that cable, you'll need to hold up the case with one hand and then use your tweezers with the other hand. Use your tweezers to peel the black tape and then you can use your spudger to carefully flip up the retaining flap on the trackpad cable zip connector. Then just disconnect the trackpad ribbon cable from the trackpad by pulling it gently through the slot in the frame. Before the next step, we just need to readjust the computer where the lower case is on the desk and the upper case is propped open. Now we can get to the T5 Torx screw connecting the battery connector to the logic board. With that out, we can disconnect the battery and we'll need the help of this new tool, the battery isolation pick. We're going to insert the pick between the logic board and the battery connector. Next up are the tripoint and torque screws holding the USB-C port bracket in place. The tripoint Y00 is not a common bit. Make sure you have it before you begin the step so you don't strip your screw. If you don't have it, we do sell the driver separately in our store. Now you can use the flat end of your spudger to disconnect the USB-C port cable bracket by prying straight up from the logic board. Moving up to the audio jack board, we're going to use our spudger to flip open the retaining flap on the audio jack board cable zip connector. And then we're going to disconnect the audio jack board ribbon cable by pulling it straight back out of the zip connector. Now we can open the MacBook the rest of the way and lay the two halves down flat, being careful of the ribbon cable that still connects them. On to the trackpad assembly. First things first, we need to disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable connector. We're going to use our tweezers to peel the black tape from the connector on the trackpad and the flat end of our spudger to flip the retaining flap on the connector. And then we can gently pull the keyboard ribbon cable out of the slot on the frame. There are five T4 screws holding the trackpad to the case. We're going to remove those and then hinge open the display just slightly to free the trackpad assembly from the upper case. And then we can remove the trackpad assembly.
You can find all the parts and tools you need for this repair and many more at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.